Welcome to a Tuesday morning, everybody. The 1st of August. Boy, where is summer going? It's just flying by. We'll start with a look at live Doppler radar. We are dry out there. Pull out to a wider perspective, a few showers across north central lower Michigan. Those are lifting off or dropping off to the south and east, so they're not really coming our way. Other than a smoky haze from some of that Canadian wildfire smoke yet again, that's all we're going to see. Kind of a filtered sunshine. Still a nice day to get outside. I did some selective pruning. It's that time of year where the bushes, the Rows of Sharon bushes, the uh, golden privets, all of those are kind of blooming. Uh, and I've got to cut some of those back because you're getting a little bit out of hand. So I spent some time doing that yesterday. But if you're going to be doing that, cutting the grass, going to the beach, you've got pretty good conditions. That Canadian wildfire smoke will be suspended in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So there's no cleaner action day issued this time around. It's 51 degrees right now in Big Rapids, 55 in Fremont. Pretty comfortable out there. We've got temperatures in the 50s across the entire area. 55 in Belding, 55 in Holland. Our southern counties as cool as 49 on the north side of Kalamazoo. 58 on the south side, 59 in Battle Creek, and we have temperatures at 55 in Gonsopolis, and we're in the mid-50s there in Constantine as well. Our forecast for today is calling for just a little bit of that smoky haze. The other thing I wanted to show you folks uh, are dew point temperatures. When the dew point temperatures, which is a measure of moisture in the air, are in the 50s like this, that's a very dry air mass. So it feels comfortable out there. These may click up a little bit by the time we get into Thursday. They may get into the low to mid 60s, so you'll feel a little bit more stickiness out there at that time. But right now, we're in pretty good shape. It's a nice uh, feeling air mass. Partly cloudy to partly sunny skies today with that milky white, kind of a smoky haze in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Highs around 82 with a southeast to southwest wind that'll be light. As we look at the future track model and we go through today, a couple of those cumulus clouds will pop up again like they did yesterday in the inland locations. If you're north and east of Grand Rapids, north of Lansing towards Saginaw, you're likely to see a couple of isolated showers out there, but the rest of us, not so much. We'll see clear to partly cloudy skies overnight, and then as we go through our Wednesday, uh, maybe a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, and there could be the chance of a couple of showers across our northern counties as well. And then Wednesday night into Thursday, not much going on, but as this cold front drops in here, There'll be the chance of a few more showers, maybe a rumble of thunder dropping on through the area on Thursday. Only about a 30% chance on Wednesday and Thursday, but those are the next two rain chances. I think a lot of areas will get missed, so don't cancel any plans, but those are the next two chances. I'll show you that here in just a second. All right, smoky haze today, highs in the lower 80s. If you're going to the Whitecaps game, that first pitch comes out at 635 at 6 p.m., we're about 80 degrees by 8 p.m. We're in the mid to upper 70s. And then by 10 p.m., we're in the lower 70s there with just a light westerly wind. We're got a chance of a shower tomorrow with temperatures around 85 degrees. We're in the mid 80s on Thursday with a chance of a shower, a little more humidity there. Then the cold front goes through and we'll have a drier air mass filtering later in the week and into the weekend as well. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday all look good. Monday still looks dry. 82 degrees there. If we look at your precipitation chances over the next seven days, we've got a 30% chance of some showers in here for Wednesday and Thursday. But as I said, I think many areas will be missed. 10% chance on Friday. Saturday looks good for the Coast Guard Festival Parade and those other festivities there. 20% chances for rain on Sunday and Monday. That is your August 1st forecast and beyond. Let's check traffic. 649. Here's Rob. 